Uh, hi everyone, today we are going to start with the Azure Data Factory. Uh, so we will also learn a real world problems as well to uh, integrate the data from one system to another system using Azure Data Factory. Uh, before jumping on, uh, before jumping to the Azure Data Factory, first uh, in this video we will going to learn about the basic things. Uh, so we are uh, going to use three things. First is SQL as a database and the second is Microsoft Dynamics CRM account we should have. And apart from that, we should have uh, Azure portal account as well. So uh, I already have account. Uh, if you don't have account, you can create the trial environment uh, for those account. For, this is the Microsoft Dynamics CRM trial environment. I already have, you can create as well. And apart from this, uh, we will require the SSMS software as well because we are going to use the SQL. That's why the SSMS, uh, Microsoft SQL Service Management Studio, you should download this uh, software as well. And apart from this, uh, Azure, you should have Azure portal. Now, uh, you can create the Azure portal trial environment if you don't have. From this link, you can create a free account. But the thing is, it, it requires a credit card. If you have the credit card, then and only then you can create this account, uh, Azure portal account. Otherwise, you won't be able to create the account. Okay. So we will directly start with the basic things about the uh, Azure Data Factory. So once you create the Azure portal, then you will land on this page, this home page. You will you can, you will be able to see this home page. Now, if you click here, you will find a lot of things, a lot of things present inside this Azure portal. Uh, so we will see what we uh, first. We will see what we are going to use into the Azure Data Factory only that those things for in this tutorial. So uh, resource group. We will start with the resource group. This is the important thing. Resource group is basically a container which will hold your all of the other resources. Uh, it's a uh, if you are not getting this, what is the resource group? Then you will be able to understand in the up uh, in after some time because we are going to create the database as well. At that moment, you will be able to understand this thing uh, greatly. For now, just uh, uh, remember that resource group is container which hold the re related so resources. Okay. So you have to create the resource group. Without resource group, you cannot do anything uh, in the Azure portal, okay? So I have already created one uh, resource group, but still I will show you the process of creating the resource group. So you have to create uh, the resource group. Now, uh, here you will find the subscription option. You have to select your subscription. Since it is a free trial, then uh, only one subscription is visible for me as a free trial. Select the free trial, give the resource group name, for example, ADF resource group. You can give the resource group name. Then region is important. Why region is important? Because the performance will depend and the costing pricing is also depends on this thing. So please select that region which uh, where your customers, where your customers, are, most of the customers are coming from. For example, your most of the customer are coming from East Asia, then select East Asia. Okay, so select the region. Then go to the tax. Tax is nothing but uh, it's on some kind of the variable you can store. I mean, you can identify uh, the ta resource group from the tag. For example, if this resource group is uh, whatever the resource group you are creating, ADF resource group, is for fraud environment, then what you can do that, what you can do, you can add a name as a environment and give a value as a fraud. And if so that you will be able to identify this resource group is for fraud. If you click on review plus create, it will show all the information that you have selected till now. You can review these details and once you create, uh, click on the create, then it will create the resource group. Okay. So I already created one resource group. This is the one I have created. I have already created. So after this, what we what we will require is a, uh, SQL database. We will require, right? Uh, so how we uh, how we can create SQL database inside the Microsoft Azure? So I will explain. What you can do, you can go to the home. You can directly search here as a SQL DB database. Okay. You can create the SQL database from here. I have already created one SQL database, but again I will show you the process of creating the SQL database. So you have to click here, create. Now, lots of options are there. You just have to fill the data as per your requirement, okay? So subscription, you can select the subscription. Resource group, 
remember we have created the resource group right uh, my resource group is integration learning so i'm selecting this one now whenever the sql database is, is going to be created at that point at that moment this database will get linked to the resource group that means this is the uh, related component and that component will get added into the resource group and that's why resource group is a container basically it holds the related component related related resources okay then the database name you can give you can give the database name then server again if you are starting from the scratch then you will not uh, able to see the server name in the drop down option you have to create a new server so i will explain how to create the new server as well just click on that create new give the name of the server okay so name again select the location please select appropriate location as per your requirement then you can see the authentication method here select the uh, sql authentication if you select sql authentication then you just have to mention the username and password and that thing is important this thing is are very very important so please note it down username and password we will require this thing while logging into the ssms to log in to log into the ssms okay so you can give anything okay you can give other thing give the password confirm the password okay I have already created that's why I'm not uh, going to create the another server again and just click OK and after that your server will be created so now we will go back yeah so once the server is created then what you have to do uh, so we, we were here right so you just have to select the server your server so my server is this one then I will select this one I like that these three things are there which are very very important in terms of performance and pricing uh, when you are into the real into the project then these three things are very place very important role for now we can keep it as it is okay i will explain these things uh, in upcoming videos since it is a basic tutorial i am i'm i'm skipping this for now okay so select no compute storage as it is backup storage redundancy if you want you can select uh, for uh, now since it is a trial environment you can select locally but it, it is it is also fine if you select geo and backup storage okay and then after that in networking if you want to do something if you want to do anything you can add it but leave it as it is no need to change anything again you you get the option of uh, adding the tag here DV plus create will show all the details it is showing validation field because I haven't given these details that's why database name I, have, I haven't given okay it is showing estimated cost as well uh, you can also see this box I will explain the DTU in upcoming videos so once you uh, go through this uh, review this and then hit create button then it will create and deploy and create the database okay so now you have created the resource group now you have created the sql server and then you have created the database as well okay now the you have to access that database so you can use this software microsoft sql server management studio software so when you open the software after opening uh, click this button connect and then you have to enter the details now you have, you have to enter the server name if you do we just have created the server right so we have to add, add here the server name that server name so server name if you want if you have forgot if you forgot that and if you want it then what you can do search again if you want sql database this is my database so here you can find the server name you can copy this can go here paste here As you have selected sql servers authentication so login and password is necessary so that's why i mentioned please note it down while creating the database so login my enter your credential and hit connect button uh, 
before hitting connect button what will happen if you are starting uh, from the scratch then you sometimes if you hit the connect button then it will throw error it will not allow to connect uh, to the database so if you, if you are getting any error then what you have to do is go to your database okay this is database and then go to uh, firewall settings set server firewall and in the networking you will find this uh, public network access option it should not be a disable it should be selected network okay and then firewall rules is there you have to add a new file uh, you will not see anything here since i have created that's why it, it is visible for you but uh, if you have to click on this add a firewall rule if you want to give name you can give it otherwise by default it will pick you have to give start ip address and end ip address that ip address you can get it from command uh, mm -hmm. command prompt right so once you do this once you add this rule then what is going to ha then try to access this try to access this you will be able to access the your database then okay so once you connect to the your database you connect to your server SQL server you can see the server name go to the database see this is ADF trial DB my database I have created the database ADF trial DB okay. and uh, then you can add you you can add the tables here you can create the table here use the new query okay. with the help of SQL query you can create the tables Again for SQL syntax and query, uh, you can follow my blog as well. I will I will give a link in uh, link into the description. So I have already created the two tables actually here, uh, contact and account. So to I will show you uh, this one, DBO contact and account are already created. See the data is there. So we will require these all these things as uh, SQL database tables and then Microsoft Dynamics CRM account then Azure portal for the ADF. In upcoming video we will see a real world scenario for uh, transforming the data for uh, pulling the data from SQL database and transforming them and then moving it to the uh, Microsoft Dynamics CRM using the Azure Data Factory service. Yeah, that's, so that's it for today.